Hey guys, it's MJ at His Truly. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Today we are remembering September 11th, 23 years ago, if you can believe that. Um, we are at the September 11th Memorial in Panama City. Um, somebody so kindly just left flowers here. Uh, we will not waver, we will not tire, we will not falter, and we will not fail. Peace and freedom will prevail. President George Bush. October 7th, 2001. Yeah, we will not forget September 11th. So they've done these little benches here in memorial of each of the air, airplanes that went down. This is American Airlines Flight 77. a little bit rainy right now we're in the cup of the hurricane yeah we got the hurricane going on i don't know hurricanes just seem to follow us or where this is the bay in panama city but yeah guys we will not forget september 11th It's unbelievable that it's been 23 years. So we had terrorists that day. Our country was under attack, as our country is still under attack, evil. Psalm 91.1, though he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty and Psalm 91.11 tells us that he gives his angels charge over us to guard us and to protect us and keep us in all of our ways. You know, the rapture is so very soon, guys. You know, this channel is 100% pre-trib, meaning that the rapture of the church is any moment. I don't set dates on this channel, but I'm not a date setter, but I promise you that I set a date with Jesus Christ every day, and today could be the day. If you're not born again, not religious, this channel is nothing about religion. It has nothing to do with religion. Being born again and being religious are two separate things. All these birdies came out of nowhere. Look at that. You are not born again of God's Spirit. The Gospel is 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Jesus Christ died for our sins, according to Scripture, that he was buried, and on that third day rose again, according to Scripture. That is the simple Gospel of our salvation, guys. God did not make this process hard. Man complicates it, religion complicates it, our flesh complicates it. God didn't make it hard. God made it as simple as the ABCs. For God so loved this world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would simply believe would not perish but have everlasting life. So what do we do? How do we get born again? After acknowledging that we are sinners, we acknowledge that we're sinners, that's the A. We acknowledge that we're sinners in need of the Savior, and there indeed is only one, and that's Jesus Christ, the only name under heaven that any of us can be saved. Not Buddha, not Allah, not Muhammad, 
not the prayers of our ancestors. God does not have grandchildren. Jesus Christ is the only name under heaven that any of us can be saved. B is to believe, and this is the absolute key. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and that God raised him from the dead for your own personal sins, not only for the sins of this whole wide world, but for your own personal sins. And C, call upon his name. And guys, I would do that today. I would not tarry, I would not wait. The Bible says that all who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Not might be saved if you join a particular church or complete a certain program. He who began this good work in us shall perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. Who's he? That's the Holy Spirit. And we can't even come to Christ. We can't even come to God unless the Holy Spirit draws us. So if you're listening and you aren't saved, that's the Holy Spirit drawing you. Call upon his name today, guys. You will never be disappointed. The most important thing is having your name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. The absolute most important thing in this life is knowing where you're going and having the security of knowing where you're going when you're gone. And I believe we are the final generation, the absolute final generation. The Bible says the dead in Christ will rise first when that trumpet sounds. And we who are alive and remain, that's us. We are the fig tree generation. We who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in those clouds and ever so be with our Lord. And the Bible tells us to comfort one another with these words, encourage one another as we see the day approaching. That's what we're doing on these channels, on this channel anyway, is encouraging one another as we see the day approaching. You know, I just heard that BRICS, like 156 nations or took that new deal for cashless society. Uh, we are in the end times, guys. We are in the very end moments, the end moments. We're not depending upon a president to save us. We're not depending upon a system to save us. We're depending upon Jesus Christ. He is the only savior of this world. And he's coming back to rapture his own. We're going to a wedding. We are going to a wedding, guys. So very soon. It could be today. Nothing needs to happen. May 14th, 1948, Israel became a nation. And that was it. That began the time clock. Israel is God's prophetic time clock. Watch the nation of Israel. Wars and rumors of war. Watch what's going on right now, guys. We see what's going on right now with Israel. Pray for the peace of Israel because they're about to go through the time of Jacob's trouble. Not the time of the church's trouble. It's the time of Jacob's trouble. Jacob is Israel. That's not us, guys. We're about to be raptured up into that air to be gathered. The ecclesia, the called out, is about to be gathered up. So soon and very soon, guys. So no matter what you're going through right now, no matter what trials and whatever we're going through, you know, allow the Lord to strengthen your faith right now in these times. These are very trying times that we're going through. Very trying times. But the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard our hearts and our minds to Christ Jesus if we allow it to. Satan is a liar, man, let me tell you. He's a liar. He does what he does well. He came to steal, kill, and destroy us, the wind. We got that hurricane following. Hurricane followed us to Hawaii. Hurricane here. Pray for those in the path of this hurricane here, too. But we're just getting the... We're just getting some of the... The waves of it. But for all those who are in the path of this hurricane... There's so much going on, wars and rumors of war, all what they call climate change. This has nothing to do with climate change, guys. These are birth pains. 
These are birth pains. Evil is intensifying at warp speed progression. And the Bible tells us that this would happen in the end times. And that's exactly what is happening. The time of Jacob's trouble is soon upon them. And that is the time of Jacob's trouble. That's not the time of the church's trouble. We're not appointed to wrath, guys. Understand that. We don't have to go through the tribulation. When Jesus Christ said, it is finished on that cross, our sins, past, present, and future, were forgiven. What Jesus did was complete. Nothing lacking. Complete. It is finished. Look at those birds. Them. I love watching these birdies. We're about to fly, guys. But yes, we are about to fly. We're about to go to that wedding. So beautiful. This is just so beautiful. It's raining a little bit here just gloomy whatever your situation is today I just encourage you all not to be discouraged not to be in despair not to be depressed to look up for our redemption draws nigh guys the joy of the Lord is our strength the Bible says that those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach us, Lord, to be still. The Bible says, be still and know that I am God. That means be still. Know that he's got everything under control here. You know, those debates were pathetic. And I did watch the debates. Those little earrings and... I'm not a political person, but his little earrings and Harris's ears. Uh, somebody telling her what, what's up with that. I'm not telling anybody who to vote for. I vote for Jesus as president. I don't believe we'll be here very long. Uh, I believe we'll be raptured, guys. But yeah, those earrings that she had on very likely were somebody telling her what, what was going on there. There is no one that is worthy, really, to take that office right now. I just, we're going to be out of here, guys. We're going to be out of here. I'm not into politics. Obviously, I'm not into politics. I will vote. But uh, that was, in my opinion, three against one. what's going on in our country right now open borders the people that have come into our country there's no turning back guys there's no turning back and I'm not a pessimist by any chance <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination I've always been very optimistic but we're done here we're done here Everything that Jesus said would be happening in these final moments, it's happening right now. Wars and rumors of war. Lawlessness is off the charts, guys. People don't even know if they're male or female. And parents are okay with their children's genitalia being cut off. There's something so, so morally demonic the days of Noah. These are the days of Noah, guys. We are in the days of Noah, Sodom and Gomorrah. And that's when Jesus said he would be returning for his church, for his bride. Now remember, the rapture and the second coming are two separate events. Don't let Satan fool you. He came to steal, kill, and destroy don't let them tell you, oh yeah, you got to go through this tribulation. You got to prepare for this.
there's no preparation. Jesus Christ prepared for everything and he delivered on that cross. It is finished. To tell us thy. It is finished. And those of you who've been with me for a while, you know that God gave me that vision a while ago. It's been a couple of years now, but of the United States flag burning and a dragon behind that flag. And I'll never forget that open vision. I'll never forget it. And we have arrived, we're there. The United States is, is not the same United States. It's not the same United States that my grandfather died for. My grandfather was a prisoner of war for, and many of you are American vets and prisoners of war. I mean, it's it's a joke. This country has turned into a opening our borders and having people raped and and killed and I just I I can't even go into into any any further details about it because it gets me just but you know remember God is in charge. I have to tell myself that God is in charge. The devil is God's devil. The devil is God's devil. And God works all things together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And everything that the enemy meant for harm, fill in the blank, even this, even this tragedy, may not be able to see it presently we might not be able to see what that good is right now but that's a promise of God that is a promise all things work together for good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose and our prayers are with everyone who lost a loved one on that day can't even imagine the tragedy and the loss that each of them went through. I posted about Todd Beaver earlier today about Flight 93. Read that when you get some time. That's for all very, very courageous. demons had me in chains. A prisoner of sin and torment that started out like an innocent game. My hands were tied behind me with handcuffs made of steel. This life was one big question mark. My nightmare was very real. I wanted to run just as fast as I could to where I did not know, hoping to escape in hell's fire and find shelter away from this fog. Through my journey into darkness, I felt a hand reach out to me. He said that he was my savior and only his blood could set me free. He promised to protect me, keep me from all harm, clothe me with his righteousness and give my heart a song. He handed me the book of life and his words were very clear. This is my plan for all of mankind. You'll find your way in here. Jesus Christ is the only way that any of us can stand before a holy God. And God provided that way for us, guys. He is the only way. The only way to the Father is through the Son. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through him. And I know a lot of us have been going through a lot of spiritual warfare, guys. We will not waver, we will not tire, we will not falter, and we will not fail. 
peace and freedom prevail. And you know where our peace comes from? True peace. Jesus Christ said, my peace I leave you, my peace I give you, not as this world gives. True liberty comes from Jesus Christ. He who the Son sets free is free indeed. If you don't know that peace, we were all born to know that peace because we're all born into the condition of sin. All of us, not some of us, because all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Not some of us. For that reason, we must be born again because the wages of our sin or the penalty of our sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Know that you know that you know that you're saved, that you're born again, because in the twinkling of an eye, everything's going to change. Everything is about to change. The whole trajectory of this world is about to change when the rapture of the church takes place. And people laugh at it, people mock at it, people scorn and scoff. And you know that's actually a Bible prophecy, that there will be mockers and scoffers in that day in the very end days that say, huh, where is this promise of his coming? Yeah, we have arrived to that very day. Don't let anyone take your voice out of you. The blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Don't let anyone take away your enthusiasm hearing that trumpet sound, the mouth of God, the very mouth of God, calling us up there, come hither. Oh no, it's about to happen, guys. It's about to happen. And I can't wait to meet each and every one of you. We're not alone for this world. I know it. You guys know it. Those of you who are walking with the Lord, you know it. The Lord has only asked us to plant seeds, continue to plant seeds, continue to share the gospel. The Bible says that in the end, evil will intensify. And our righteousness comes only from Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Our own righteousness is but filthy rags. So all these bricks, you know, nations and everything, I haven't really researched it in depth. I just happen to, I don't follow anyone. I don't subscribe to many people. I just happen to see that all of these nations are having their monetary, their money system changed. The Bible says that in the end days, this would happen. It's called a cashless society. Hmm. Everything is changing. One world religion, one world economy, one world government. AKA the new world order. We have arrived guys. We're here. Klaus Schwab and his sidekick Yuval Noah Harari were here. And if we thought 911 was horrific, and if we thought 911 was a tragedy, when the restrainer is removed from this earth, which is going to be very shortly, we're about to see all hell break loose on planet Earth. And you don't want to be here. So make sure that you are washed in the blood of the Lamb. And once we're saved, we are always saved, eternally secure. I don't care what anyone tells you. His blood was enough. His grace is sufficient. Jesus Christ did everything he needed to do on that cross to secure our salvation eternally. Once and for all, it is finished. So don't let anyone tell you that you can lose your salvation. It is a gift. God does not retract that gift. And that's not given license for sin. I'm not a pastor, I'm not a teacher. 
I am simply a redeemed member of the body of Christ, brought back from the death of death and destruction for such a time as this, addiction and the lifestyle that accompanies it for such a time as this, that other prodigals might know that, you know what, yeah, there is a devil. There is a devil. And his demons keep many in chains. My people perish for lack of knowledge. So just wanted to get on here and share this with you guys. And as we remember this day, as all of us remember this day, it was a day like no other. And terrorism in our country has increased and continues to increase. Our borders are open. We're done. We're done for. There's no make America great again, guys. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, not, I'm an optimist by nature, but there is, we're going home. We're just passing through here, guys. We're ambassadors. This is not our home. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, you may be also. And no eye has seen, no ear has heard, nor has entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for those that love him. We're about to see that place, guys. That trumpet is about to sound. And I can't wait to meet each and every one of you. Please know that we're praying for you and yours going forward. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the channel family. We love you guys. Know that we're praying for you and your prodigal. I have a prodigal of my own. I appreciate y'all's prayers more than you know. So much more than you'll know. Prodigals have to hit a few brick walls sometimes before, before they come to the understanding that God is standing with his arms stretched open wide. You know, the Bible says that Christ loved us while we were yet sinners. How much more so now? Don't let the enemy put in your head, oh, you know, you lost God's grace. You lost your salvation. The dumbest, stupidest things he puts in, in our heads. And we believe it. Know what the word says. Be in the word and let the word be in you. Know that Jesus Christ will never leave us nor forsake us. Never. Nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Nothing or no one. Don't allow it to. Okay, guys. Love you guys. Um, I'll be back. Try to be back on here tomorrow. Um, I just wanted to share this with y'all and let you know how very much you are loved and let you know how very close we are to being caught up in the rapture of the church. Soon and very soon, guys. Love you until next time. Keep looking up. We know that our redemption draws nigh. God bless you guys.